Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel after a long break because there were mid-sems in between and before that I was preparing for mid-sems and after that I just returned to my home and you know मैं पाँच मिनट पढ़ने के बाद पाँच घंटे का एक ब्रेक ले लेती हूँ तो पाँच दिन लगातार एग्जाम देने के बाद I should have taken a break of five weeks. Anyways, मैं उतना ले तो हूँ नहीं सो आई एम बैक विथ माई वीडियोज एंड वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल पीपल हु ऑलरेडी नो मे दैट्स फाइन बट फॉर दोज हु आर न्यू बिकॉज अ फ्यू ऑफ द पीपल हैव जॉइंट रिसेंटली सो फॉर दीम आई एम आंतिका अ थर्ड ईयर बायो मेजर स्टूडेंट एट आयजा बरहमपुर एंड आई एम ऑलवेज देर टू गाइड यू थ्रू आउट द जर्नी सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ कम्प्लीट स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ आई टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रिपरेशन एंड नॉट ओनली दैट आई विल बी शेयरिंग अ फ्यू ऑफ माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसिस एज वेल सो डू वॉच टिल द एंड I will be sharing uh, like around uh, four to five points only, and those are the very basic strategies for that you should follow um, until you get into your dream institute. The first thing is consistency. Whatever you do in the next few months, just do not lose consistency. And consistency doesn't mean that you have to show up hundred uh, percent regularly. Sometimes that might be fifty percent, sometimes eighty, sometimes thirty, sometimes twenty, and so on. It doesn't mean that you have to show hundred percent regularly. But times when you do not show up. Uh, like nothing nothing in a day and it's 0% instead of 150 30 20 or whatever that is the day you have broken the consistency and you are an inconsistent student now so if you are going for this one then either neither or iic or your dream institute see maximum of the people have their uh, dream institute at um, neither iic pune or iic bangalore um, and many more like that but if you are truly willing to go there then being an inconsistent student you are not going to crack it you might be coming to other institutes but uh, not those institutes that you are actually dreaming of i have made a lot of mistakes in my entire life and being a guide my primary duty is to guide uh, students on things that they should not do and what they should do now being a like being an inconsistent student i can say that if you are following those which i am saying you not to follow then you are definitely not going to make it up to your dream institute you trust me or not but it is what it is sometimes you like some days you may feel like doing a lot of tasks in one go and trust me if you start the day then you feel like more energetic to complete those this happened to me a lot of times and i'm pretty sure ki i am not the only one so if you know you know just start the day with something productive and days when you do not even start the day or you are like so lazy at a time in the morning or the time when like when you should have started the day trust me the day is gone with no productive task no like nothing that's an inconsist that's a day that will make you inconsistent so my first tip is start your day with something productive and continue it the flow will go just you start that's the only thing you should do you just start and the rest will be done and that's automatic thing that will be done but if you do not start bye it's done coming to the second point uh, subject wise strategy so for biology people ncert is your bible i know you know this but once again ncert is your bible and read each and every chapter do not even skip a page of a chapter nothing just read everything now see for maximum of the biology students maths might not be your uh, strongest um, subject right uh, strongest subject so uh, try to maximize uh, compensate that with your bio score now the same thing applies for non maths students as well next comes for the non bio people or the maths people see maths might be your strongest subject but you know biology is the maximum scoring subject so even if you are hitting full marks in mathematics do not skip biology totally attempt few of those kuch to pad ke matlab kuch to pad ke jaoge na so attempt few of those if not all at least few because as i said ki it's the maximum scoring subject तो तो आई विल सजेस्ट कि डू नॉट लीव इट कम्प्लीटली द थर्ड वन इज बैलेंसिंग स्कूल एंड कोचिंग सी एज अ पर्सनल मेंटर एट शाइस्ट्रा आई हैव कम ओवर अ कमन क्वेश्चन फॉर फ्रॉम अ लॉर्ड ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स दैट दे आर सेंग कि देर कोचिंग क्लासेस इज टीचिंग समथिंग इल्स दैन वॉट देर स्कूल इज टीचिंग एंड मैक्सिमम लाइक नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज फेसिंग द सेम प्रॉब्लम कि वॉट शुड दे डू then at that point of time when uh, two different places is teaching them two different things two different chapters how to just manage both of them together now see your main target is not this coaching classes your main target is not the assignment tasks or the class tests or whatever you are worried of now 
those are not the actual target right the actual target is iit or nest or whatever you are uh, willing to give like whatever exams you are willing to give those are the actual targets not these things so consider these mock tests these assignments these class tests as uh, stepping stones because like some step may take a lot of time like let's say one step is taking a few of your time whereas 10 steps are taking less time than like compared to this one step so think of like that now the thing is give 50 percent time attention for your schools and rest 50 percent for your coaching classes because you know uh, at a certain point of time these school classes and the um, coaching classes will overlap so you'll get a time to revise at that time so do not panic if they are not aligned right now but one thing is do not let either of these like neither the coaching nor the uh, school classes or wherever you are putting the attention at do not let either of these drop to 40 or 30 percent that should be 50 50 otherwise at a point of time you are going to mess things up the fourth one is mock tests this is the most important point most important strategy or whatever i'll say this is the most important thing so um, wherever you are giving the mocks at be it any online platforms or any um, anything wherever you are giving the mock test just make sure ki you are attempting the mocks because these mocks will let you know ki where you stand skipping any one of those is going to make you suffer a lot one more thing that you can do is making yourself consistent with regular tests these regular tests are not going to uh, like um, help you in knowing your mistakes but also that will train your brain to handle uh, such a pressure during the actual exam so it's one of the best strategy to keep yourself consistent and giving mock tests doesn't mean ki, like you're just attempting the paper and it's done it's completed no not like not that that's wrong after you're done with the mock test analyze the paper totally wherever you have made your mistakes uh, practice those again why you made the mistakes and things like that so that's the thing how you grow the thing is some extra strategy plans that just came to my mind first thing is time management see in IIT paper uh, easy questions will uh, like will be spreaded throughout the paper right so the thing is if you're getting any tough questions and it's taking a lot of time to get completed leave it or like it's not uh, like you're not getting an answer that you are expecting if something like that is happening keep it you'll do it in the end uh, do not like lose a lot of your time for that one single question because each question will have equal marks so keeping yourself busy with a question that you are actually unable to do with um, uh, like uh, within um uh, time in which time you can solve maybe five to six questions so better you go for the other questions and do not just get stuck into this one that will take a lot of your time so time management is very important next thing is revision plan see let's say this doesn't happen but in case if you are left with any uh, chapters you're not done and it's only one and a half month left for the exam like four to six weeks do not start that chapter Let's say this is not going to happen, but if it happens, do not start that. Keep that four to six weeks just for revising whatever you have studied. Just revise those thoroughly, give many more mocks, revise once, twice, or how like how much you can just do it, but do not start any new chapters at that time. Last but not the least, mental discipline is very important. Do not compare yourself with others or your results with others. This is not the time. Because focus on yourself, focus on your improvements. Focus on what you were yesterday, what you are today and what you are going to be tomorrow. And what you are going to be tomorrow must be better than what you are today. So that's how the growth goes. Do not compare yourself with others. Just focus on your own improvements. Now, if you are not improving, if you are not improving, it means you are doing something wrong. But if you are, then try to maximize the improvement. The much you can improve, the much is better for you. To crack IT 2026, you don't need to study 16 hours regularly. All you need to do is maintain consistency, uh, plan smartly and honest mock practice. If you're not giving the mocks, it's done, it's over. And you know these days the competition is going to increase. Uh, this year there are a lot of students and uh, next year also there will be uh, like the number of candidates will increase. They are not going to decrease, make sure about that. So uh, either Anna is not going to be that easy it's going to be more tough in the later days okay so make sure you plan accordingly do not panic and you do not um, become an inconsistent student maintain the consistency throughout the next few months last but not the least do not forget that mocks are practice the final match is IIT, not the mocks so plan accordingly
and thank you for watching this video might be this has helped you a bit at least